Hey guys, today is me again here, Neo Tan. Today I want to create this video to show you how to create a new Instagram account. Now, once you create an Instagram account, the next thing is I'm going to show you how to switch from your personal account to a business or professional Instagram account. Now, after that, I will show you how to edit your Instagram account and also how to use Instagram, like example, how to post, how to search, how to go to your notification, how to go to your profile, how to edit your profile, and etc. All right, I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. So let us not waste any more time. Let's get started. What you're going to do is at the bottom over here, as you can see here, don't have an account, sign up. So what are we going to do is we're going to tap on sign up. Okay, so you can choose to continue as your, you know, your Facebook profile. You can connect to your Facebook profile. If you do not have that, you can just tap on sign up with phone or email. So I'm going to tap on this. I'm going to create an Instagram account using email instead of phone. Okay, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to put in my email address. Okay, so this is my email address. The next thing is tap on next. Okay, so this part area is to add your name. So I found out that this name is okay because Neil Tan is my name. You can put your own name. You can put any of your preferable name. All right. So for this case, I prefer this name. The next thing I'm going to do is to tap on next. Now key in your password. Okay, create a new password that you've never used before. Okay, once you put in your new password for your Instagram, now the next thing is tap on next. Now, come to this page. What you're gonna do is add your date of birth. I'm going to choose, I'm gonna select my date of birth. So I'm just going to simply randomly choose my date of birth. But of course, you can put yours as the real one. But because this is a demo account, I'm not going to put a real date of birth, right? Now, once you select your date of birth, the next thing is tap on next. Now, if you see this name, okay, which is going to be your name, for this is my name, my username. Now, if I do not like this, I can just tap on change username. If you like your username, the next thing is you can just tap on next. So for right now, because this is a demo video, okay, it's just a training tutorial. I like this demo name. Now, the next thing I'm going to tap on next. Now, the next thing is you can tap on connect to Facebook or you can tap on skip. Now, again, this video is a training tutorial and this account is a demo account. So I'm not going to connect to Facebook and I'm going to tap on skip. But for your case, make sure you tap on connect to Facebook, all right? So I'm going to tap on skip. I'm going to skip for my case. Okay, now you can search your contacts. So again, this is a demo account. So I'm not going to connect to my contacts. Okay, I'm not going to search for my contacts. So I'm going to tap on skip. I'm going to tap on skip. So you can add a profile photo, but I will show you how to upload a profile photo at the Instagram profile area. Right, so for this case, you can just tap on skip. Okay, don't add a photo, just tap on skip. So you can, you have an optional to actually save your password, save your login information. But for my case, again, this is a demo account. I'm not going to save it. Okay, I'm going to tap on skip. Okay, for your case, you can just tap on allow access. And for my case, it's a demo account. I'm not going to tap on allow access. I'm going to tap on not now. Voila! So this is how you create your Instagram account. All right. Now the next thing is I'm going to show you how to switch your personal Instagram account to a business or professional account. Now what you're gonna do is you can see on this bottom right corner, just tap on this person icon. So I'm gonna tap on that. Okay. Now the next thing is you can see these three lines here on the top right corner. Okay. What you're gonna do is tap on that. And tap on settings. Search for account. Tap on account. You can see this. Switch to professional account. Tap on that. So you can choose creator or business. So creator is for those who are a public public figure, content producers, artists, and influencers. So if you are under this category, you can just tap on creator, which is to tap on next. Now, if you are not a creator, perhaps you are a business. If you are a retailer, local business, brands, organizations, and sub service provider, you can actually tap on this option, okay, this category. So for my case, I'm going to tap on business. I just tap on next, okay. 
So I'm just going to tap on continue. So you have to select your categories. Okay, so I'm going to search for marketing. Okay, so I can see this is a marketing agency. So I'm going to tap on that and then tap on next. Okay, you can put in your contact number, your business address. Okay, I'm going to put in my contact number. Okay, tap on done. You can tap on next. If you don't want to use your contact information, you can do that. But because this is a training video, this is a demo account. So I'm not going to use my contact info. Okay, so this is demo. But for your case, if yours is a real case, please tap on next. Okay, I repeat, you are going to tap on next. But this video, because I'm using a demo account, I'm not going to tap on next. I'm going to tap on don't use my contact info. I tap on that. So you can select your base Facebook page. Okay, you can select any of your Facebook page. So for this case, I'm going to select my demo Facebook page. I'm going to tap on that, then tap on next. And you can also opt to don't connect to Facebook now. But for, I would encourage you to connect to your Facebook page. Okay, tap on next. Okay, so once you come to this page, you can uh, they ask you to complete these three steps. But for now, I'm not going to do all these three. You can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to tap on close. Okay, going to tap this X on the top there. Tap on X. And voila, you see this? So this is a professional business account right now. All right, now the next thing is to edit your profile. Okay, so you can tap on edit profile, tap on that. Okay, you can change your name, change your username. You can put a website. If you have, if you have a website, please put a website. If you don't have a website, you can put your Facebook page. All right, so for this case, I'm going to put my website, which is HTTPS. Okay, so I've already put my website. So you can, so once you get this done, now next is to go to the bio. Okay, I'm going to tap on the bio. Now for this case, you're going to put your information. What is your business all about? What is your Instagram all about? Okay, I've already prepared my bio, which is here. So this is, I've already prepared for my bio. So what you can do with your bio is that you can add in an emoji, okay, put in your products and or services, hashtag, okay, or you can put the ad sign, okay. So this is my template. I've already uh, prepared it for my bio. So I'm going to copy all this. I'm going to copy all this, copy it, go back to my Instagram, I'm going to paste it. Okay, so this is how it looks like for your bio. Put something about your business, about your Instagram, put emoji, put a hashtag, or you can put an ad sign, whatever it is. All right, so I get once you get this done, the next thing is tap on done. Now we're going to scroll down, so make sure the page is connected to the right one. Again, this is a, just a demo account, so I'm going to connect to my demo page. Okay, category, make sure it's the correct one. Contact options, I'm going to tap on that. Okay, so what you're gonna do here is you put in your email address, put in your phone number. Okay, so for this case, this is a demo account. I'm not gonna do this. So you please go ahead and do this. Put in your email address, put in your phone number, put in your business address. Okay, so put in all this, fill up this information, and then you're done. So once you get your contact options done, then go back. Right, I'm not gonna make any changes for this profile display. I'm gonna make it default. Leave it. I'm gonna leave it default. Now the next thing is change profile photo now tap on that you can import from facebook you can take a photo or choose from library so i'm going to choose from library okay i've changed my profile photo so once you choose and change your profile photo the next thing is tap on done voila so this is how you edit your instagram profile Now, the next thing, I'm going to show you these functions at the bottom here, okay? I'm going to show you quickly. I'm going to go through with you this quickly, all right? So, the first one is, you can see this is the home page, okay? The home icon, you can tap on that. So, this is how it looks like. This is the home page, okay? The home page of Instagram. So, this is where you can see all your friends, your colleagues, your family members, posts, and videos, okay? Now, the next one is the magnifying glass. You can tap on that. Okay, this is to allow you to search for other people's videos, images, all right? So you can search for your friend and or you can search for hashtag, okay, hashtag marketing or hashtag 
or hashtag marketing strategy or hashtag any of your keywords that is related to your industry okay like let's say i i'm searching i want to search for hashtag social media search you can see this there are list of social media keywords so i'm going to tap on social media marketing which is there are 10.6 million posts I'm going to tap on that okay all right so you can see all these other people's uh posts okay different people post different type of posts so all these are related to social media marketing some of them may not be suitable okay some of them are just posting images and videos of themselves okay so that is how the magnifying glass feature works is for you to search for something okay hashtag all your friends or family your friends your family or colleague now the the next one is this plus icon over here this is to allow you to upload your picture your images or your video so i'm going to tap on that okay so you can select any of your pictures images or your videos okay so i've selected my one i select so i've selected an image here so the next thing is i'm going to tap on next okay you can choose a filter here you can filter here okay you can edit it but for this case i'm going to leave it default i'm going to leave it normal so i'm going to tap on next okay you can write a caption so example i'm going to write time to take your take your business to the next level time to go online during this mco or lockdown period okay now what you can do is you can also put hashtag okay hashtag social media marketing hashtag marketing hashtag digital marketing hashtag anything that is related to your business industry okay you can put this up to 30 hashtag okay purpose you can insert 30 hashtag okay that that is the maximum now minimum you can put at least around 9 to 11 hashtag at least uh, 9 to 11 hashtag not just normal hashtag but the best hashtag okay so once you put in all your information your caption and your hashtag the next thing is tap on okay okay tap on share posting voila so this is how you post a picture image or a video on instagram now your friends your family your colleague can start to see your post okay the next one is you can see this is the love icon over here you can tap on that now this page is where all the notification would appear okay the notification the activity all right so right now this is a demo account i have no friends i have no followers so i'm not following anyone so this will be empty all right so if you follow somebody and maybe you've done something on your instagram you will receive a notification or activity over here okay now the next one you can just tap on this human icon this is to go back to your instagram profile now the next step is i'm going to show you how to share your instagram professional account to our facebook private group now if you learn how to post to the private facebook group you will also understand the process the steps to actually share your instagram professional account to any social media is the same so if you want to share it to your whatsapp share it to your website share it to your youtube channel share it to your friends or anybody whatever any platform any social media okay it is going to be the same so how to share now first of all you need to understand that instagram is not link friendly so whatever you try to do in instagram and you want to share to your friends your family your colleague to your network it is impossible so there is one hack one way for you to share it is now i'm going to show you how to do this step by step now first of all what you're going to do is you're going to tap on edit profile here and you look at this there are two names right now the first one is the name and the second one is the username so what you're going to do is you're going to remember your username so my username is neil6165 now what i am going to do is i'm going to open a google chrome browser okay so i'm using google chrome browser incognito okay so i'm using the incognito browser under google chrome now what i'm going to do is i'm going to key in instagram.com slash neo6165 okay now what you can see here is i put in instagram.com slash neo6165 manually okay so you got to do this manually so 
all you got to do is just key in instagram.com slash your username in the search box area here okay on the top there so once you put in the instagram.com slash your username then you're going to type on go okay type on go and search okay now look, look at this can you see this so this is my instagram professional account that i just created earlier all right so you see this near 6165 everything looks the same so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the url on the top there and i'm going to copy it yeah i'm going to copy the entire url copy say copy now the next step is to go to our facebook private group okay now let us go to our facebook private group so i'm going to type on this over here i'm going to type on my group here you can also search for launch your business online program okay let's say if you do not know how to if there is no button for you to tap over here so what you can do is just go back okay you just search for launch your business online okay and you can see the first one just tap on that then tap on this group now what you're going to do is tap on this search icon this magnifying glass just tap on that search for instagram then tap on search you can see this is the first post here tap on that tap on the comment section over here now I'm going to paste the URL that I copied in the incognito Google Chrome browser. Okay, I'm going to paste the URL here. You can see this? So this is my Instagram URL, which is also means my Instagram professional account. So you can see this? Just key in Instagram.com slash your username. Okay, that is quite simple and straightforward. Now I'm going to type on this send button. Okay, send. Done, you see? So this is how you share your Instagram professional account so facebook page is easy to share twitter is easy to share even youtube is even easier to share so this is how you share your instagram professional account that same goes to your personal account right they are both are the same Pro professional or personal account they are the method of sharing your instagram account are the same instagram is not link friendly they don't allow you to share so what you're going to do is you just have to key in manually again it is instagram.com slash your username okay which is this okay this is your username that is all for now for this video if you have any questions just leave a comment down below if you learned something from this video and if you really like this video please give a thumbs up for this video if you really want to learn more of this step-by-step -step video training tutorial or perhaps you want to learn more about digital marketing how to market your business online how to grow your business online i would really encourage you to smash on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon okay so when you click on the bell icon it means you will receive notification of whenever i always launch a new video all right so please go ahead do that and i hope to see you in my next video take care stay safe goodbye